Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill and this is Trying to Stand where I try new things in pop culture because I've been living under a rock. You guys send me a lot of suggestions. I appreciate all of them, but a way to get an artist to the forefront of my list, just cut right in line, is when they tweet something like this. You're going to reference Steven Universe in such a wonderful, beautiful way, then... Today I'm going to be listening to the music of Janelle Monae for the first time. I understand that Janelle Monae just came out as being non-binary, so I just want to say ahead of time, I, I still do my best in my brain to use the right pronouns and stuff. If there's an awkward edit or I make a slip, I apologize in advance. But yeah, I just want to check out their music. I've taken the most suggested songs from you guys in the comments section, and we made this playlist. So let's, uh, let's do this thing. Let's, let's share in this experience. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with Tightrope featuring Big Boy. Monet and left foot. Woo! Hello! You dance up on the keep your info key on the scene while they jump and roll you. They try to. Ah, what the mirror demonry? Ooh. Ooh. I love this. Yes. Oh, the mirror dementors are scaring me, but then the singing's so nice that it's just putting me right back into a place of feeling warm and safe and happy and gooey inside. I was literally about to go, do you not know the lyrics? And he just threw it away, hell yeah. I can't close my MacBook, that's how I'm watching you. Also, you better have shots where you can see your whole body and enjoy your dance moves and the choreography. Narc, why is dancing forbidden? But hell yeah, the influence keeps going. Everyone's still dancing while you're walking off with the creepy hall monitors. Whoa, okay, outro video. The song just made me want to like get up and move. Like that felt so good. The mirror dementors have me very confused. Bro, give me them lyrics. Like it's not even like the revolution has begun. It was like the revolution is already here and it's just encouraging you to, to be a part of it. it kind of moves through your body and it feels good. Ooh, I really needed that energy right now. I thought it was maybe like a boarding school, like evil Hogwarts, but it looked like a like a hospital, like a mental hospital. Yeah, and then I guess that the 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 that woman would be the the nurse, the one who was like okay, and then tattled on everybody. It's like a music TED talk. Like, you know, you don't wanna to be too high, you don't wanna to be too low, like you gotta find your balance, keep moving. Encouragement to like be yourself. They had a lot of like the full body shots for like a lot of the dancing and the choreography. That with the like jazz, big band kind of sound to it, it just really made me think of like more of the golden age of like even like musical movies. But I, I, I love that it just felt so fun and it felt so encouraging. Janelle's getting carted off by the Dementors with mirrors for faces. And yet they're out of the room, but the dancing's still going. Like you can't stop the influence and the impact of of such positivity, but you can't stop expression. You can't stop life. Like the machine, the society won't won't bar you down. Like it's like this low key second layer to it about how being your best self will then have an impact on others. Janelle Monet left a legacy behind in that room as everyone's still dancing while the Dementors are taking Janelle off to be punished. Like, go to your room? We're in timeout at the very end, and just that, like, confident kind of, like, over-the-shoulder over, sh over the shoulder kind of look. Oh, you know. You know that the dancing's gonna keep going. You, you know the impact you have on other people, which then also, I think, brings more to the meaning of the song. Just not having time for any of the negativity. Just wanting to engage 
with as many people as possible and it's like well if you're not you're not on board like take it or leave it do you mind if i play the ukulele just like a little lady do you mind like almost like almost like a sort of sarcastic like do i need your permission to do something different like it, it's beyond be yourself it's be your energy go at your pace match your rhythm whatever the next level is of be yourself that's it right there and next we have prime time featuring miguel so this 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 will this will air about like 6 p.m weekdays Primetime TV slot. It was a pun. Forgive me. Eww. Ooh, that's unnerving. The visuals, not the music. The music's very soothing. We'll make a call, even write a song. Woo! When you're down and it's Oh god, yes. Yes. Heaven is on us. Ooh, that's a. I, how do you have beautiful eye contact? That's all I could think of. That was beautiful eye contact. I feel very seen. Stars come out and play. Is that okay? Okay. You have a good voice too. Always right here for you. Well, wait, no. What? What happened? It's a Okay, everyone take turns being amazing. I can't have it both at once. Oh my god. But tonight. Uh huh. I don't want to be mysterious with you. God damn it. Mm. I love that lyric. And then kicking right into the guitar right there. Damn it. That's so good. Okay, space booze. It's just it's just Mountain Dew voltage, the blue one. Oh, according to this uh, YouTube ad, Janelle Monet also did a song for the Lady in the Tramp Disney Plus live action, not sponsored. I didn't know that. That was sexy and that was sultry and it had a beautiful like cyber noir vibe to it. Janelle's voice, Miguel's voice. Damn, they're both just so silky smooth. It just felt rich and like, Forgive me, it's gonna sound sexual, creamy. You know, like it just, oh. I don't know how else to word that. It's like moist, dense cake. I don't know why I keep going for food today. I think I'm just hungry. <laughs> Very strong like R&B kind of vibe to it. Like you could feel like the the pulse and the energy just kind of slowing down like that that heartbeat kind of, even even how I'm trying to describe it, like my whole body's kind of moving with it. it yeah. Very sexy, like I don't know. I, I'm I'm getting bad with words today. It was it's very interesting to put them in this like future world. I I don't know. I love it. It gave it like really interesting visuals. Everything still translated really clearly. Uh, Janelle's work in a strip club or a future booby bar. Whether they just met or they're already feeling it, get off of work and go be with the person that matters. And like even lines like I'm not even gonna write a song. Where was it? Yeah. Tonight is me and you alone. Won't make a call. Won't even write a song. Let's just be. Let's not think about outside. Tonight I don't want to be mysterious with you. And then just cue this like Prince level just wailing but soft guitar solo in there. Mm. I recently was at a bar with live music and they did a cover of Purple Rain and it put that same kinetic spark through my body just right there with that like soft but intense passionate guitar wail. But tonight I don't want to be mysterious with you. It just both the song and the person opening up at once like that for you. It's just beautiful. Being able to just like reflect and translate emotion and feeling through words and rhythm and music like that. Like that was, ooh, that spark between two people that both awakening their relationship, but also awakening something in uh, Janelle Monet's character. This was the moment for Janelle to, forgive me, unplug from the matrix, like wake up and start thinking and, and functioning independently. Cause the first thing we see is like setting up the cyborg robot strippers and like what, what pace we want the dancing to be at. So it sings with the music and 
kind of like Bluetoothing into an iPod or something or an iPhone, forgive me children. But after seeing something so controlled like that and then seeing someone make a choice for themselves to stop the day job and go off and in interact with this person, of breaking out of the status quo or the mold or like this is the day you, you quit the job and, and start thinking for yourself. And I, ooh, as someone who also stormed out of the service industry for better things, I, ooh, I love that so much. Damn, Janelle, you have a beautiful voice. Both of you do really, but you for making that so beautiful and make it look so easy, effortless, like an extension of your being. The further and further out we were going, like I couldn't even follow along anymore. I, I got so lost in just their voices alone. Damn it, that sounded so good. I really needed something like this so bad. It's called the Electric Cheap Nightclub. I double down now on my sentiment that this was the first independent thought. Damn it, that's so cool. And next we have Make Me Feel, the official music video. This is just Janelle, no more feet. <laughs> wow. It's like some ASMR track there. Ooh, that scared me a little bit. It felt like someone was like right in my ear, like hereditary. Ooh. He's like I'm powerful with a little bit of tender. Ooh, whoa, whoa. That's just the way you make me feel. Ooh. That's just the way God damn it. Oh, hello. I, hi, I'm Bill. I can't help it. Uh, hey. Yes! Oh my God! Like I'm, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> yes, your sexuality giving you strength. Damn. That's just the way you I love this a lot. Oh my god, that is the most infectious, confident thing. F***ing A. I, I'm sorry, it hit me. At first I was like, okay, yeah, like, we're sexy, we're confident, we're strong, we're brave. This is amazing. Mm. And then going back and forth between the man and the woman, and, and it just became like this celebration of I don't, not giving in to your sexuality, but like coming to terms with owning your sexuality, being your best and truest self. It's like that's where the 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 orgasm parts came from. It was loving yourself, letting yourself express and feel every nerve ending of what you like and what you love and what you desire and want, and like. Me, that was just beautiful. Like I started to cry. I'm like, yes, bisexual vibes. I fucking hell. It had a very androgynous vibe. The video, which is why, like, I being an idiot who just don't, I just don't believe in labels in general. So I'm sorry, Janelle, if I get your label wrong. I'm sorry to Janelle fan stands, but like just androgynous. So like, yeah, like pansexual, bisexual. I don't know. Whatever your sexuality is, it's celebrating that. The spandex and like the fact that we're focusing on Janelle, but like then the person like basically mid-thigh down, very androgynous vibes, which I super fucking love. Whatever your sexuality is, just celebrating that, like everyone can take a piece of that beautiful, lovely pie and just take a bite. Just enjoy everything about you and your sexual desires. Like, and it, and it wasn't like, ooh, go take it from everybody, la 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 la. Like, it was just like, you're just feeling yourself, feeling the world, like understanding and illustrating the things that put that spark in you, intrigue you. Like, this, what was the name of the song again? That's so important. Correct me if I'm wrong, that, there was two Janelles in there, right? There was Feel Yourself Janelle and Questioning yourself, Janelle. Am I crazy? Two Janelle Monets are better than one Janelle Monet. <laughs> Much like Minutes in Heaven. Ooh, yeah, even right here, the first line, baby, don't make me spell it out for you. At first I thought it was like, oh, hey, you the other person, I find you sexy. Let me explain it through beautiful song and, and dance. No, I think it's Janelle talking to Janelle, where it's like time to start embracing who you are, loving who you are, and living your full and best life. It's like the Janelle Monet that finally realized this about their self, want so desperately to bring it to the attention of a younger Janelle Monet to make that person happy, but then it's illustrated in such an open way that it, it, we are Janelle Monet. Whether you're 
discovering yourself and needing that support and encouragement or having discovered yourself and it's an, an invitation to to help and encourage and support others. Janelle, you just make me feel so good just to be a human capable of feeling and exploring and loving and learning. You can combat that logic. For anyone out there who disagrees with with this widespread sexuality that we're discovering about our species, you can't argue with that logic. It's just how, it's, that's just the way I feel. Done. I love it so much. This song literally sums up how the attitude should be towards it. You know what I mean? Like it just, why can't the world work like a Janelle Monae song? <laughs> That's just so beautiful and supportive, and I don't know, I... I want to feel that way. I want everyone in the world to feel that way. I hope that helps a, a lot of people. Like, that's just awesome. And now there's a St. Jude ad. Like, I can't do this right now. <laughs> Janelle, I'm assuming you mean pink, so I'm just gonna call this pink, but it's P-Y-N-K. It's supposed to look like ladies' legs. That's the point, you... Dumbass. Is it an onomatopoeia? <laughs> Jokes help me cope. <laughs> Pink, the official music video. Oh, we're still in, here we are in the future. Oh. Ooh. Pink, what? like the inside of your baby. Oh, your vagina, okay. Leaving traces of us down the boulevard. I wanna fall to the stars. Ooh. Yes. So here we are in the car. Did you just punch that clip? Yes. Woo! Ah, she's just gonna do it again. <laughs> oh, damn it. The subliminal vagina imagery is getting like intense. I'm sorry, I never never considered a grapefruit before so this is this is more than i than it's on my mind proving the point of the song i feel like, like the walls in the doors. Deep inside. oh okay i think i think this is still on the the robot future world especially the way uh, we had that synth quality to Janelle's voice at the very end there but uh okay uh, yep yeah, it meant pink definitely about uh sexuality and the vagina Right? Like, I'm not crazy. That's super what that was. Those were vagina pants. You know when you, like, it's weird. For me, when something's so overtly sexual without being direct, it makes me wonder if I'm just being a, a child about it. And I'm like, the <laughs> pants look like uh, d d dirty parts. And I don't want to, like, make that assumption. And then it's like, it's fashion, you idiot. Like, I don't know anything about clothes. Put me in that mindset of, like, am I just immature or is that super the point and then as we kept going through the song like okay yeah that's super the point i think that's just me trying to grow myself i think that's just my own like thing where i i don't want to come across this like immature and be like hee 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 and i i get nervous about reading too much into things so that's a me thing i'm projecting that i've never thought of a a grapefruit analogy for vagina so it just kind of threw me through a loop i don't know why i don't i don't like speaking on things that I'm not a part of, but just as someone outside looking in, feels like this song is trying to affirm the beauty and the natural, the natural aspects of, of female genitalia and, and femininity and women. Cause it's the line, boy, if, if, if you're blue, that's cool or with a, cause boy, it's cool if you got blue, we got the pink. Equality and acceptance and it, it's about wanting to celebrate the positives and the beauty about feminine about women wanting to prove the point of not wanting to like we're not here to dismiss men or boys like it kind of gives me that feeling of like well we just need to talk about this a little more a more open conversation through a song about things like this is i don't i didn't feel like i was being put down for not having pink i i felt like if anything it was a reminder that there's so much more to pink than the initial three things that we're allowed to that we're allowed to talk about if that makes any sense the beauty of it but also humanizing women like it's just it's a natural thing and i think it's about breaking down that barrier over it humanizing 
pink, which is already should be an insane oxymoron because it's a human part of a human. But I, I, I understand why we're talking about it. Just again, everything flummoxes me because I'm a simple, ignorant doof. Wanting femininity to be a bridge between people instead of, you know, oh, one or the other. It's hard for me. I'm, I'm very much grew up with a, this is, these are sensitive things to speak on. So, so bear with me here. I appreciate Janelle for things that will yield to a stronger conversation and me leaving my comfort zone. It's both like a, a tenderness for someone who needs a reminder that there's value in pink for themselves but then also it's an invitation for others to explore valuing pink more. It feels like I'm talking about the artist, but I, re I really liked it. It's about finding the beauty in what we choose to underappreciate in the last thousands of years. I do wanna say that I, I have covered a lot of songs that I feel like aren't for or about me, both in this video and in other videos. And I, I appreciate everyone helping encourage me to still speak on these things in the hope of continuing the conversation. And to close out the night, we have Q-U-E-E-N featuring Erica, Erica Badu. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I did. It's just Janelle Monae <laughs> covering Bohemian Rhapsody. All right, Queen, Q-U-E-E-N. It's hard to stop rebels that time travel. There's time travel involved? Janelle Monae. Yay, oh no. Ooh. Oh God, my eyes, the stripe patterns threw me off. That hurt my eyes, ironically, because they go against the grain, which is the point. Woo! I love that lyric. Yes. I love Janelle Monae. Yeah. You can take my wings, but I'm still gon' fly. And even when you edit me, the booty don't lie. Fuck yeah. Will you be electric cheap, electric ladies? Will you sleep? Or will you preach? Fucking A. Ooh, ooh, Again, there's a lot here that isn't about or for me. Things are gonna go over my head. There are things that I don't understand. I do not pretend to know everything about this world. I'm just gonna take it from the angle as someone who likes to watch, absorb, take in, listen. There's a lot there about a lot of disenfranchised people. And I feel like it's hitting on more groups than just one. Someone wanting to take the reins on all of it and help everyone. Just how how much there really is out there. And even just from the beginning of like that museum, first I was like, oh, it's a museum of heroes. No, it was a prison. It's like, oh, shit. I'm such a I'm such an ignorant piece of shit. Cause that's what I thought it was. I was like, damn right Janelle, Janelle Monet belongs in a museum. I, no, Janelle Monet is in prison. All right, let's get you out of there. That ain't right. It just all came down to just everyone wanting the same thing. So why don't we just give everyone the same thing? Even the song, musically, it just commands so much of your attention. I love it so much because I noticed it when, um, oh, please don't let me ever forget your name or say it wrong, Erica Badu? Right when Erica Badu is coming in, it just gets a little softer, a little lighter. It reminds me of like a, a, a communication tactic where to take control of the situation, you keep your voice calm and collected. So that way then you, the listener inertly, have to sort of lean a little forward, listen a little more carefully, making sure that they're being heard, that you're paying attention, getting you to lean forward and listen, breaking down people to a science so that way you can illustrate this for them. I don't know, like it, it didn't feel like queen of the world, just queen of yourself. Just be, you just wanna be in control. You don't want someone else dictating what you can and cannot do, who you are and who you're not, what you are and aren't capable of. Am I really gonna be punished for standing out, for contradicting some form of social norm? There's more than just 
three boxes, three ways of living your life. Say, is it weird to like the way she wear her tights? And then right after it's, is it rude to wear my shades? Like it's like wanting to just redefine or recalibrate how we think and process. Both of those things are something that was dictated long ago to mean something. And it's like, well, what if that's not how I think? Is it weird if it's not weird to me? Is it rude if it's not rude to me? All, all words and concepts and labels and things are all just made up. So why do we have such strong boundaries for imaginary made up things? I feel like this song just really challenges you to reevaluate what is and isn't important. Like just illustrating how much is stacked up against any marginalized group of people and there's no reason for it. Demanding that other people understand, so there is no other people, but while we're in this group, hey, group, stick with it. Be yourself, fight back, stand up for yourself, demand your place at the table, demand be, to be heard. You're doing all the work, get the reward. Like Jesus, it's not asking for, like this song is not asking for much. <laughs> Ooh, categorize me, I defy every label. Calling for the, the work that apparently needs to be doing for people to just be treated like people and for everyone to be on a level playing field. There's, there's already so much in the world, like there needs to be unity. And that's why it is about different groups of people. The minority need to combine and be the majority, right? Am I nuts? It's about tearing down the borders between not only people, but these groups. The minority need to see their majority and fight back. Will you sleep or will you preach? Understanding of, of your issues, but also the understanding of others. The world needs to unify. Cause like that whole, we're different, we're the same thing. That applies to the groups seeing groups in each other as well as the whole. Did anything I say just make sense? I'm not gonna pretend to understand this stuff. I just, I try to understand music and art. And that's just what I'm getting here. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so nervous. I don't I don't mean to apologize for this thought. I believe in this thought. It, it goes from categories to subcategories, and it's bullshit. And I don't understand why. And I I feel like Janelle Monae is just really helping me illustrate this in my brain right now. So thank you, Janelle. You're never gonna watch this shit. I feel like I'm crazy, but I feel like I'm not. And this is what I love about 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 this this about all of this like it, it keeps the conversation going it, it starts to spark that understanding it starts to spark that growth and that knowledge that catalyst for education and acceptance i love that but that's that is a, a lot to process which is good it needs to be processed everyone needs to process this jesus i love you i need to lay down oh uh, i hope that made sense but yeah there you guys go. What did you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you did. Subscribe if you want more. We talked about a lot of things. I don't like to get political. I do believe in basic human rights. And I, I please be kind and conscious in the comment section. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Every click, every like, every sub. I hope I made sense in any way through any of this. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, please be considerate and kind in the comment section for this and every other video, but given the topics. And while being mindful of others, take care of yourselves, please.